Thank you so much. So happy to be here with you all this evening. You all doing good tonight? Yes, let some of that energy out. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to all the nominees and all the winners. And let's give a big round of applause to everybody who worked so hard to put this event together. It's so wonderful to have that support for the, in the arts for all of us. Um, I'm going to start off, I don't usually start off with a slow one, but tonight I'm going to. Uh, for me, I started singing country music as soon as I could make noise. And um, at a young age, I got the sense that music was more than just something to sing along to. It was something that uh, could heal you. When I was a little girl, I used to watch my mom sing along with Loretta Lynn records like somebody finally understood her and I just wanted to grow up to be that for somebody else. So when I heard this song, when it was first pitched to me, I felt like I could do that with this one because I related to it so much because my grandpa was in the hospital at the time. And I felt like if I could relate to it this closely, then there must be other people out there who could relate to it. And they did. And that's what makes this song so special is the stories that people share with me. The thing I hear the most often is that people say they felt like this hurt. They heard this song when they were meant to hear it. And for me, I feel like if this was the only thing I was ever able to contribute to country music, then I would be very honored. This is You Can Let Go. Wind blowing on my face, sidewalk flying beneath my bike. A five year old's first taste of what freedom's really like. He was running right beside me, his hand holding on the sea. I took a deep breath and hollered as I headed for the street. You can let go now, Daddy. You can let go. Oh, I think I'm ready to do this on my own. It's still a little bit scary But I want you to know I'll be okay now, Daddy You can let go I was standing at the altar Between the two loves of my life To one I've been a daughter when I soon would be a wife When the preacher asked who gives this woman Daddy's eyes filled up with tears He kept holding tightly to my arm Till I whispered in his ear You can let go now, Daddy You can let go Oh, I think I'm ready do this on my own oh, It's still a little bit scary But I want you to know I'll be okay now, Daddy You can let go oh, It was killing me to see The strongest man I ever knew Wasting away to nothing in that hospital room. Though he's only hanging known for you, as for the night nurse said. My voice and heart were breaking as I crawled up in his bed and said, You can let go now, Daddy. You can let go. Little girl is ready to do this on my own. It's gonna be a little bit scary, but I want you to know I'll be okay now, Daddy. You can let go. 
you can let go Thank you so very much, thank you. Why, thank you. I decided to start off with that one because I had a few people out there say, are you gonna sing that daddy song? So there you go, ladies. So uh, after, that, after we released that song, it was just a beautiful blur after that. I was just touring nonstop across Canada, across America. I got to see places I never got, I never thought I'd ever be able to see growing up on a tiny reserve in Northern Canada. And I got to meet a lot of really cool people that I never thought I'd get to meet. I got to tour with some of my heroes, Brad Paisley, Reba, and I even got to play the Grand Ole Opry with Miss Loretta Lynn. And uh, that one was my favorite. Thank you. And, uh, and we were very fortunate. Uh, you Can Let Go went into the top five in Canada and the top 10 down here in America. And uh, after that, it was just, you know, nonstop touring. And since then, there's been so many changes for me uh, professionally. For those of you that don't know, which is probably most of you, because most people don't keep up with the politics of the music biz and whatnot. But uh, a few years ago, I parted ways with uh, my record label, RCA Records who I'd been with for five years in Nashville. And after the separation, I had a lot of people in Nashville asking me, so what are you gonna do now? Are you gonna quit singing and go back home to Canada? And I was like, well, why would I do that? I've lived here forever and last time I checked, I still have my voice. And it'll take a lot more than that to get rid of me, because I'm pretty stubborn. So anyways, I woke up the next morning and I started going through my fan mail, which is always the first thing I do in the morning. And uh, I read this message from this young teenage single mother who said that my music had helped her through some very tough times and that I had been a friend to her through my music. And it kind of just put everything back into perspective for me, you know, as to how lucky I am that I get to do what I do for a living. And it also brought it full circle, because that's how it started, you know? I, I wanted to be for somebody what somebody, I wanted to be a friend to somebody like Loretta Lynn was for my mom, and that's what I was doing. So I picked up my guitar, and I looked out, this, out the window, and I remember very clearly it was raining that day, on top of everything, the skies were gray, lightning, thunder, the whole nine yards. And I picked up my guitar, and I looked at my husband, Who's that guitar player over there? Yes, he does deserve a clap for that. He's a very patient man. But I looked at him and I said, isn't it a beautiful day today? And he looked at me like I was crazy. And we sat down and we wrote the song that we're about to do for you guys. And after we wrote it, it was like, well, what do we do now? I had a couple record labels talking to me in Nashville who wanted to work with me, but they all wanted the same thing. They wanted me to record their songs from their songwriters, which is an amazing opportunity. But, you know, I did that with the last album and I just felt like I had something to say too. And sometimes in life you have to take a chance, no matter how scary, no matter how crazy it might seem. And that's what I did. And I started my own record label and called it New Sun Records. And I was like, literally calling radio stations myself. I was like, hey, this is Crystal Shawanda from New Sun Records calling on behalf of our artist, Crystal Shawanda. Have you heard her brand new single, Beautiful Day Yet? It's fantastic and you should play it. And just so you guys know, artists never do that. Like nobody does that. You usually have a big team of people doing that. But uh, to my surprise, uh, some of the radio guys thought it was cute. They laughed and they thought it was cute what I was trying to do and they played it because they thought it was cute. And the rest of the guys didn't play it, didn't know what to think of me and they're still trying to figure me out. And that's okay, they'll catch up, I'll wait. Like I said, I'm very stubborn. So anyways, to our surprise, this song 
ended up in the top 30 up in Canada. And although that wasn't the top five we had with You Can Let Go, considering we went from having this huge team of, of an army in America and in Canada, right back down to just the two of us again, that it felt like a top five to us. And might I add, it's the first time a song has ever charted on any radio anywhere by a record label owned by a Native American woman. Thank you. And that's what it's about for me, you know? It's the next chapter, the next page, always evolving, always growing. And I think that's something that pretty much all of you can relate to in this room tonight. You know, we just keep going for it. We just keep chasing it. And even though you guys probably have that in your mind, if you don't yet, when you leave tonight, if you leave with anything, I hope you leave inspired to pursue your own happiness or to keep on doing it, you know, because there's the idea of happiness and then there's really being happy. And there's a big difference 